Hello Scorpio, welcome to your bi-monthly energy update. This will be a check-in on Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Scorpio, when I was pre-shuffling, just to kind of see what's going on with my Scorpions, I saw the Hermit with the Three Wands. Now, I could be picking up your energy or the person that you're dealing with, but this does show me that right now, between you and particular someone, that you have on your mind who you came to this video for or your cross watcher there's a little bit of um an emotional distance here maybe physical distance if you guys are in communications it could be little to none i'm getting here someone's also waiting for someone's response waiting for someone to reach out but they're not getting an answer i don't know for how long it's been the two of you have been like this but I'm getting that you may be feeling you're growing more and more apart from your person. Though somebody here is still looking. You can see this man still looking in this direction. Though he's not exactly doing much. It's not, you know, he's not like going out of his way to text, to see, to do something for somebody or to talk to somebody. I'm kind of getting here. He's just like, you know, about to go. And, you know, to do his own thing. But just before he goes, he kind of just wants to take a last, you know, he wants to take one look back just to make sure, kind of just to make peace with it. But there's a little bit of a part of him that's just kind of like, I know something's coming in. I just don't believe it's over. This could be your person, okay? Whoever it is you are connected to. I was getting strong Gemini. I was getting strong Virgo. I also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I was also getting another Scorpio for some of you. So if you are in this situation right now, Scorpio, let's take a look and see what you must know, what you need to hear about this person. Like I said, it's not a personal reading. It's a general reading that I'm doing right now. So the energies can go vice versa. If it's your energy that I pick up strongly, Scorpio, I have no control over it. It's just whatever it is that I feel guided to say, to see, to sense, to read to you guys at this time if you guys want to go into it some more in a personal reading one-on-one -on -one session with me book your reading with me i'll provide my email in the description box below so we can take a look at what's going on between you and this particular person i have no idea who it is i'm reading right now but that's the energies that are coming out so let's take a look what is it that they're feeling right now towards you <clears throat> what do you need to know about this person right now and when it comes to you what's their first thought what do they think of is it good is it bad does it make them anxious do they get nervous are they hiding something or do they feel like you can see them they're an open book We'll take a look at that when it comes to their feelings whoever this is that one or both of you guys I really feel like this is what's going on between the two of you to tell you the truth I don't feel like it's just you I don't feel like it's just them I feel like both of you right now spare showing me one's kind of a way maybe there's even a physical distance okay this could be over a large body of water you guys could be in different city state country you could be a couple miles apart. Another one is just, I don't know what to say right now. I don't know what to do. I kind of need time to think about this. Okay, so we have that situation going here right now. And what do you need to know about this person you're dealing with? <clears throat> How do they feel for you emotionally at this time? And what can you expect moving forward? What can you guys expect in the future? I kept getting two of cups, three of cups, hangman. Some of you, it's a Cancer or Pisces, but 
A message that I'm getting right now is this person doesn't know how to have you in their life because they don't know if they can just be friends with you because they still have feelings for you. Sometimes you guys are like, really? I can't even tell because I'm not getting anything from this person. Well, your the their first card wouldn't be the Three of Swords if that was the case. Some of you guys are maybe aware of a third party that they may be dealing with. You may be aware of this person that they're currently involved with. Yeah, Scorpio. They're thinking about you. Your energy right now is what they're thinking about. Okay? Could also be involved with another Scorpio. Some of you guys and maybe a Scorpio Aries. Um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So this person right now cannot decide if they can move forward with you. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth, Scorpio. They feel like you've hurt them in some way. But they don't want to express that hurt. Instead, they're going to try to move on. They're coming off as the emperor. The emperor does not express their emotions. The emperor, you can't really even tell. They don't drop signs. They don't drop hints. They don't drop clues. Because they don't wear their heart on their sleeve. And they make head over heart decisions. They're proud. They're stern. They're full of ego. And they do what they must to kind of get the business going, kind of get things rolling, kind of just to get things moving again, okay? Now, with this emperor, if you could take a look here, surrounded or right next to him is, is the feeling of death and the feeling of the three of swords, which neither one are pleasant, okay? Which neither, which both of them implies that there are still considerable amount of emotional considerations and ties to you, especially with your card right being in the middle, in the center, but they're holding this a secret. They're kind of just like, you know, choosing to move on from the situation right now, not for the long run. Maybe they're telling themselves, this is just it, it's it, it's final, it's done. But your person right now, Scorpio, <clears throat> me as a reader, me knowing, um, done so many readings already, and like hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of personal readings. The ones where I see this coming from their person, and I've done personal readings for, when I tell them, don't worry, that won't be the last time you hear from your person, 99.9% .9 of the time, they usually don't believe me, but given amount of time of days, weeks, months, however issue, they always tell me, and you guys know exactly who you are, um, <clears throat> they tell me, oh my god, they did reach out. Yeah, you are still on their mind, on this person's mind, but there's something still going on that I'm going to tell you, it still bothers them. Whatever it is that went on between the two of you, I saw the five of wands with the five of swords. This person may be also fully convinced that you're not fully ready to be in the kind of relationship that they hoped you'd be ready for. And also at the same time, they, they don't really know how to keep you in the life, in their life, in a way where... They wouldn't have feelings, where they wouldn't be tempted, <clears throat> where it wouldn't be obvious, because they're doing their best to right now move on from you and just kind of forget all that's happened. That's kind of what I'm getting. <sighs> Look at this. We have the Four of Wands. This person thought the two of you was unique. The way that you two came together, I'm going to kind of just tell you from what I'm seeing here. This thing started off like really odd. <laughs> okay. Um, the way it started, the way you two got closer, it happened. It just happened. What it started to happen was very weird how it happened. Ace of Wands, physical attraction, the two of you hooked up, very likely maybe some of you guys didn't, but one of you maybe, you maybe you've helped them or they helped you um, kind of get over something or maybe someone's shoulder to cry on. It was just like a new start, a really fun, exciting new beginning. But as the two of you became closer, the connection itself became questionable. 
because it's like where is this going right never had you thought you fall for somebody like this never did they think they would have such strong feelings either the details are missing from this connection is very far up ahead where, where where is this going we have no idea but it was starting to look like a relationship what it was starting to feel like was a relationship some of you was actually in a relationship with this person okay let's clarify some of this the feelings that your person has for you right now scorpio wow very interesting bi-monthly update here all right let's clarify some of this what are the secrets that they're holding in right now i'm seeing that they're not talking about you i'm getting here this is a really quiet silent type or they think you're the quiet silent type there's something about you too it's just it's very magnetic there are so many things that they like about you it turns them on honestly okay but and i think like that's the reason why they feel like they can't be around you <clears throat> what's the secret that they have Okay. All major arcanas, I'm not even surprised. The secret that they have, we have the emperor, we have judgment, we have the fool. And we have the emperor right here. I said the quiet, the strong, quiet, silent type. Someone right now who's making a head over heart decision. This person could, you may be aware that they may have children with maybe someone in a previous relationship. This person could have been married. I don't know if you're wondering about that because I with the three of swords here, I'm getting some of, one of you may know or be wondering if there's a third party. And this is the reason why that they feel like this is just bad timing right now. They must put whatever it is that they have with you to an end because they can't allow it to continue and may end up getting to something serious because they have to end it, lock it away. All right, so the secret right now is that you're making them think twice about whatever it is. This kind of came at them unexpectedly, surprised that they now see, they won't want to see a life without you. Something about you is kind of, you know, right in front of their face it's so obvious to them what you mean to them and how much you change their world perhaps they've been waiting for this type of relationship their whole life and this is what they've always wished they would find you know within the person in their past or whatever they're like man i always was i wish i could find somebody like that you know and they would say that But whatever it is that they're feeling right now, Scorpio, your person's, I don't know, wants to take this to, I don't know. I'm getting here with the Nine of Wands and the Two of Swords. Your person feels like, in a way, you can't read them. You can't see me. What are you talking about? But you can see this person, right? There's a veil over this person's eyes, but it's see-through. And they're kind of hiding back there like, no, you can't see me. You can't read me. I'm wearing a mask. You know, I, I'm a good actress. But really, they're like, yeah, I think, you know, they know. But the thing is with the Nine of Wands, this person is also very frustrated right now about what to do. And this person just has not stopped thinking about you, Scorpio. It may also conflict with others. There may be, I'm really getting strong third party influence or outside influence is a key or play a major role into why the situation right now alone is the three of wands and the hermit between the two of you. Let's go ahead and close up this reading, Virgo. Look at this. We have the Wheel and the Ace of Wands. There's a reconciliation coming up between the two of you. Something is changing and a new beginning is starting. I'm getting a reset button. 
I'm getting a reconciliation to tell you the truth. Okay, let's take a look here. <clears throat> let's take a look. Let me get three cards. Okay. This is very clear. They want this new beginning, but they're also afraid that this new beginning is going to make them going down the rabbit hole. Something about you is too tempting. They must resist it. There's still also a bit of C. Look at this. They hope to see you again. They hope to hear from you again, but they won't admit it. I see them with the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. This person's also very driven. They are also thinking and caring for themselves. This person's very goal oriented. This person's got money, got their pentacles on their mind. They are trying to, you know, do whatever it is that they can do to get you off their mind at this time and to move on. But what this person wants was coming for you guys. Look at this. We have the star and then we have the three of wands. This person is kind of looking forward, but this person's also decided that the two of you aren't done. However, right now I'm not getting them the two of you are saying much to each other. Could be an Aquarius. Also. Something's changing here. Their feelings here are very strong in the King of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um, Scorpio, reach out if you guys want an in-depth or you want to extend it or if you want a personal reading. If you want to know the differences, just contact me. I'll email you my um, reading instructions and reading options. I do have the Lover Special for $33.33. And if I've already read for you, we can get an update too. I feel like some of you guys... <clears throat> needed to hear this message. I don't know who it was for. You guys have a better idea than I do. I'm just reading to you what's come out. Definitely a reconciliation here. Your person is trying very hard to move on and not think of you at this time. That's what I'm getting, Scorpio. Alright. One of you is strong fire. Fire also is determination. So they're determined to get you out of mind, out of sight. It's not working with the Three of Swords. Something is just, it's pointing like all roads lead to you. You know, it's like they must stay away from you to, you know, not. They have a certain weakness for you. Three more cards and we're going to tie this reading up, Scorpio. And I'll see you guys in a few weeks. I keep seeing a new beginning. Did you guys see the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups? I was just telling you guys, something's coming in. Okay. Your person could be wanting to travel right now or could be due to travel restrictions. Um, I'm getting also city, state, country. Some of you guys, um, there, you know, someone's in the middle of getting out of a relationship or a middle of a divorce. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the lovers. They are still holding on to you. They're holding this thing really privately, re holding it really close. They're not obvious very hard to read keeping it very closely to their chest what they feel for you and it's the lover situation okay and this is um with the spiritual realm this is kind of like divinely guided i'm getting like soulmates twin flame kind of stuff okay all right one more card and that is it scorpio i love your reading your person's there's a false there's deceit deception yeah there's still lust there's still love <laughs> person wants you you guys want each other bad yeah 
All right, Scorpio, I'm going to end this reading. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it very much. I hope this helped. Reach out if you need a personal reading. I'll put my email in the description box below, and I'll see you guys there. Bye, guys.